Right. It would appear as though I have made a monumental cock up. Taking out the spot welds. Um, you can use drills, spot weld drill bits, but I generally find it easier just to use one of these, a little deverring bit. Just a nice rounded one. And just peel away into it. What it does is just knocks the top half out. It's exactly what you want. Then all going to plan. All going to plan, it's just a matter of knocking them out. So, all I'll do is I'll just follow this along, take out the rest of the spot welds. I've got a couple of uh, couple of actual stitches here. I'll just cut them out, and I've got a handful of uh, spot welds along the top. Then, hopefully, I'll be able to get this paddle off and then get in to see what there is there. I can already tell you from running the chisel along there, this is not going to be healthy under here. But you know, we'll see how it goes. Get ready for the next repair. Not as bad as I thought it would be. It's about what I expected it to be, but not quite as bad. So, well, if you can see, I'm not see if I can get the light right. Do you see there, right where my thumb is? There, a couple of little holes there. So I'm going to chop it down here. But I'm looking at it. This is quite heavily corroded here. So I might actually chop it out down to the front. Make that whole piece folded under. And then I can bring the inner wing, bring the inner wing, which obviously sits over the top of this. I can bring the inner wing down, follow that line down, all the way down to the bottom there. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. And um, the inside of the panel's pretty good as well. I find it pretty mad that, like this, is all still prime and there's very little like surface rust there. There's very little rust there. There's, like, this is all still primed, so there's no rust at all in here. And then this just looks like it's been at the bottom of the sea for six years. It's, it's, it's really mad. It must be different types of metal. So what I'll do anyway, they're spot welded down there. I can see the welds. So I'll just break them spot welds away there. As I say, I'll just cut it down there, along there, and then I'll dig all of this out. I'm not sure how far I'll come there. I'll give that a clean up of the wire wheel and see where I'm getting to. And chop all this out, as I say, and then make that one section again. Um, while I've got all this out, it'll give us a good opportunity to be able to get this these these other welds from from yesterday dressed up. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. It would appear as though I have made a monumental cock up. So, what I did, if you uh, if you remember, 
Not sure, I can't remember exactly what I videoed, but if you remember rightly, I chopped out a section of this inner wing down here. Now I thought, in my head, the chassis leg to there would be solid enough to hold the car steady. Steady. I was wrong. As soon as I cut this panel out and chopped the panel out the inside, the car has folded ever so slightly, knocked my gap out enough to be out. I would say probably, probably not my gap out a little bit more than a full spot weld hole. Um, it will have an effect when the car is driving. So what I've had to do just to try and combat that. There. I've got a prop underneath holding it up. The prop underneath holding it up. And I've riveted this. Well, I haven't riveted this back on. I've attached this back on. I've got a clamp on. I've got all of the holes, the spot welds lined up exactly where they were. So I know this car now is as, as straight as it was. Can't guarantee whether it was straight beforehand, we just don't know. It doesn't look like it's been in a serious bump at any point, but you just don't know the history of cars, that's the beauty of them. And so that's all back in place now. So what I'm gonna to do today, my mission now is to get, I'm gonna to have to take this back off and just hope and pray that it stays near enough. Um, I can cut this plate underneath here, get it in, I can weld it in on this side, and this side luckily is only spot welded in. So what I can do is I can, get it in on this side, get it welded in so it's in the right position, jack the car back up, clamp this back on, and then get a couple of tack welds on the inside just to hold it in place, hopefully enough so that I can get this back off again to do the, the rest of the repairs. So what we'll do now is we'll get this plate made on the inside of here, hopefully touch, touch wood, the car doesn't drop too much when I take these clamps off. I've done a 
what I've done is cleaned all this up as you see I can't I'm not sure where I had pointed by the embattled board anyway clean all this up clean this face up clean this face up this face up this face up this face up so we're ready to weld in now I've got the patch made as you can see and the holes are drilled ready to spot these back on now one two three four five six seven eight nine nine spots along there is what they've done um, if you look i've actually staggered them so rather than being first of all randomly in a line dotted around and see if we can zoom you in here see if we can zoom you in Ooh. yeah you see how they're randomly scattered around so what i've done is i've actually staggered them and put them in a bit of a a bit of a pattern Hope, hopefully i mean i don't know i'm no structural engineer but hopefully that'll give it a bit more strength touch wood so the piece now fits lovely so what i'll do is i'm going to i'm going to spray all this up now with some uh zinc primer undercoat because obviously once it's welded i can't paint this or this and i don't want this piece these pieces here to rot out so i'm gonna just put a quick toss over with some zinc primer let that dry but, but, let's give that a little tap him again. So that all fits. See, once the cards that's all clamped up, that all fits. Well, I tell you what, let's clamp it up, see what happens. So, there, see, so that all fits nicely. So, what I'll do. Some more holes. Drill some more holes in this piece. I'm forgetting to do the underneath there. So what I'll do anyway, what I'll do is when I come to weld it on, I'll weld down here. I might fill them in with the spots so that this is secured firmly to this, so that it's all one unit there. And then I'll bend and stretch it. Put the filter panel on this side. Line up my spot welds that I had previously so that I know the car's straight and then weld the couple of spot welds I've got on the inside of here. I'll weld them three or four spot welds there that you can see um, when they're in line. And that hopefully should put the car back to being straight where it needs to be. Happy days. It's the next day, so I know I said I was going to get this welded in today, which I'm I'm planning to get done. Um, I also know I said that I was going to try and get this done in this video. Um, I don't think I'm going to get this done. I've made another small cock up. Did not remember that it was Valentine's Day tomorrow, and as you all know, if you watched last year's video, I make my wife a little nut and bowl statue for Valentine's Day, um, and unfortunately, here we are, less than 24 hours away from it, and I still haven't made it, so fortunately I'm gonna have to squeeze some time in for to do that. But I am gonna get on, get this welded in. Um, I don't know whether I'll actually get it dressed up today or not because I'll be quite honest. It's Sunday. I am not in the best of fettles for doing this job today because, well, Sunday. You know, everyone likes a day of rest on a Sunday. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'll get this welded in, see how it goes. If it goes pretty straightforward and quick, I might give it a quick, a quick dress up. Because to be fair, it's only really. This edge here that needs dressing up, these are all spot welds, so they should come out all right. Um, so I'll get that done, and then I'll knock up one of them little nut and bolt statues. I might, might video it, I might not, but we'll see how we get on. Let's just get on and get it done.
getting it welded in there they're not pretty by any means um i think i'm gonna have to chop these four back out again to be perfectly honest me me plan for pulling the front end for it didn't work i welded in there and it should have been up here where I welded, because obviously as I've took the clamps off, the whole thing's just settled back again. So these holes aren't lined up. So I'm a little bit, a little bit peed off, I'll be honest. I've got to take these back out. But I'll do that. I'll do that off the camera. The process is going to be exactly the same. So I've getting strut top welded on there, there, and underneath here. Um, this is all welded down here. I'm not going to dress it up today, because as I say, I've got 101 other things that I need to get done. And I would also quite like a little bit of weekend to myself. Um... I'm also getting in there welded. So I mean it's all nice and strong now. I've got a little bit there to finish off. I'm just quite decided how I'm gonna do that. I know I need to fill that corner in altogether, but I might just weld that in place and then weld a plate over the top of it all to fill that whole corner in. Because I mean what I'm gonna do around here. What I'm gonna do around here obviously is I'm gonna box this. Box this corner in the same as I did on the other side. Uh, hold on, we'll get you the other side for those that didn't see. <sighs> if you can't quite see, but that's like I boxed that corner off there, so it just runs straight down. Just give it, just to give it a little bit extra strength. That's all I was trying to do. Um, so, so yeah, um, that's that. And that's it, that's all I have time for this week. Um, I hope it's been as pleasurable for you as it has been for me. You know, it's a two way street, we like to give and take, not just take, take, take. Um, yeah, so as I said, as I said earlier, uh, absolutely chuffed a bit to the progress I've made on this. Getting the, the plate done on the inside twice. Yeah, you know, one of them things. Job's worth doing, I've said a million times before, it's worth doing right. And also, Getting this plate on here. As I've said before, I've got to I've got to trim these spots back out again and try and re stretch the front end a little bit because it's kind of drifted out of out of whack a little bit. It should be quite a straightforward job, um, but obviously I'll do that off camera. I'll probably get that done Tuesday, Wednesday. -ish. Obviously, this is all eaten into next week's video time, but if I'm not filming that and get jobs done a lot, hell of a lot quicker because it. Obviously the filming does take quite a bit out of it because you've got to set the camera up and sort it all out, make sure you're rolling this, that, and all that sort of jazz and that, you know. YouTube life, eh? What are you going to do? Um, anyway, so yeah, so this panel's on. Um, it's good and strong, so hopefully once it's all finished, it should be fantastically good and strong. So, result. Also, um, as, although I didn't film it, you can see there. I've got the little, little statue made for... For my wife's um, Valentine, just to keep us, just to keep us sweet, because it always pays to keep the women folk happy, you know. Uh, yeah, so um, would like to thank everybody who's subscribed. Again, we've had a, another boost in sub subscriptions. They are climbing very slowly, but they are climbing nonetheless. It's all stepping forwards, which is in the right direction. Um, just this morning, there when I woke up and checked it, we have hit the magic, five hundred. Woohoo! Yay! So, result, uh, next major milestone has got to be the 1,000. I am seriously trying to push for a 1,000 this year. Um, that's my goal. So, if, if you haven't already subscribed, why not? You know, it's the worst that can happen. Um, even if you don't watch them, it's not the end of the world. Even a subscription will help. It all helps the algorithm. It all helps push, push views towards my channel, which will help, which in turn will help. All these other wonderful things that I have to do. So yeah, anyway, thank you for all the new subscribers. Um, if you would like to support the channel, uh, it would be very much appreciated. There is a link down below in the description uh, of how you can go about supporting it. I unfortunately, I can't, don't believe I'm eligible for Patreon yet, but um, there is another option there. Um, you can support it for as little as two pound. Uh, it will be very much appreciated and any proceeds will actually get ploughed straight back into the channel. Um, whether it be for filming equipment, car parts, or general sort of workshop equipment. Because I'll be quite honest with you guys, I have got quite a big workshop bill coming up very soon. Because I'm looking to get some uh, some quite major equipment for to get the the hover build underway. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. That and um, once again, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. And um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. 
and we shall see you next week. Cheers.